I want to start our journey with a story, one that resonates deeply with the message I hope to share with you. It's a story about John, a young man I once knew who dreamed of building his own business. John had an idea, a passion really, but like many great ideas, he required not just creativity and vision, but an immense amount of hard work. John started in his small garage, working long hours, often stretching late into the night. His friends would tell him to take a break, to relax a bit, but John knew something that many overlooked. He knew that the road to success is not paved with occasional effort or half-hearted attempts. It's built with the bricks of hard work, determination, and an unwavering commitment to one's goals. Now, let's pause here and reflect on John's journey. You see, like John, each one of us has our own garage, a starting point where our dreams begin to take shape. It's in these humble beginnings where our work ethic is tested, where our dedication to our craft is forged. Hard work, ladies and gentlemen, is not just a concept. It's a fundamental pillar that upholds the structure of our ambitions. But why is hard work so critical? It's simple. Hard work translates into personal growth. It's the engine that drives us forward, pushing us to learn, to adapt, and to overcome the challenges we face. When we commit to working hard, we're not just investing time and effort into a project or a job. We're investing in ourselves. John's story didn't end in that garage. His relentless hard work led to small successes, which compounded over time. He faced setbacks, of course, we all do. But with each setback, he worked even harder, learning from his mistakes, refining his strategies, and continuously pushing forward. That's the essence of hard work. It's not just about doing something repeatedly, it's about doing it better each time, learning, growing, and evolving as we proceed. Today, think about your own garage moments. Those times when the task at hand seemed daunting, when the hours were long, and the rewards seemed distant. Reflect on how those moments shaped you, how the hard work you put in laid the foundation for your future successes. John's story is not unique. It's a narrative shared by countless successful individuals across various fields. The common thread in all their stories is hard work. As we delve deeper into this topic, remember John's garage. Remember that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and often that step is hard work. Now, let's take a moment to consider the reality of success. It's a path fraught with challenges, obstacles, and often setbacks. This journey is not for the faint-hearted. It's for those who are willing to put in the effort day in and day out, even when the results are not immediately visible. I remember meeting a businessman once, a self-made individual who had reached the pinnacle of success. His story was not one of overnight triumph but of years of relentless dedication and hard work. He told me something that I've never forgotten. Success is like an iceberg. What people see is the tip, the accomplishments, the accolades. But what they don't see, the larger part hidden beneath the water, is the sacrifice, the failures, the countless hours of effort. This is the truth about achieving anything significant in life. It's not easy. If it were, everyone would do it. It's about doing what others are not willing to do, about pushing beyond your comfort zone. It's about waking up early, staying up late, and giving your all to your dreams and ambitions. But why do we put ourselves through this? Why do we choose the path of most resistance? It's because the pursuit of success is not just about the destination. It's about who we become in the process. Each challenge we face and overcome, each setback that we bounce back from, molds us into stronger, more resilient individuals. Let's think about the great achievers in history, the pioneers in their fields. They all had one thing in common. They worked hard, much harder than their peers. They understood that greatness comes from doing the small things consistently, day after day, year after year. These are the small things that, while they may seem insignificant in isolation, compound over time into extraordinary results. I've seen this principle in action time and time again. Take, for example, a young athlete I once knew. She had talent, yes, but more importantly, she had an unmatched work ethic. While others trained, she trained harder. While others rested, she practiced. And over time, she outpaced her peers, not just because of her talent, but because of her relentless pursuit of excellence. This is a lesson for all of us, no matter our field, be it business, arts, sports, or any other. The principle remains the same. Hard work is the great equalizer. It can bridge the gap between where we are and where we want to be. Now, you might be thinking, but what if I work hard and still don't succeed? That's a valid concern, but let me tell you this. 
Hard work always pays off. Maybe not in the ways we initially envision, but it does. Sometimes, the reward for our hard work is not the achievement of our goal, but the lessons we learn, the character we build and the people we become in the process. This is the essence of true success. It's not just about the accolades or the recognition. It's about the indomitable spirit that grows within you each time you push past your perceived limits. It's about the knowledge that you gave your all, that you pushed through when things were tough. Remember that the path to success is not a straight line. It's a winding road filled with hurdles. But it's those very hurdles that prepare us for the destination. They are the building blocks of our success story. So, embrace the hard work, the challenges, and the journey, for in these, the real treasures of success are found. Let's carry this thought with us. Hard work may not guarantee success, but without it, there is no success. Keep this in mind as we navigate the ups and downs of our path. With hard work, resilience, and a never-give-up attitude, success is not just a possibility, it's an inevitability. Understanding the importance of hard work, let's now turn our focus to a crucial element in the journey towards success, setting clear goals. The process of setting goals is akin to setting a destination on a map before embarking on a voyage. Without a clear destination, no amount of hard work or effort will lead us to where we truly want to be. Picture this. A ship leaving harbor without a destination. No matter how capable the crew or how sturdy the ship, without a clear course, you will drift aimlessly and may never reach a meaningful destination. Similarly, in our lives, without clear goals, our efforts, no matter how intense, may not lead us to the success we desire. So, how does one set clear goals? It begins with introspection and a deep understanding of what we truly desire. Goals should not be set on a whim or based on others' expectations. They should reflect our deep aspirations and values. They're personal and uniquely ours. Consider a young entrepreneur I once met. She didn't set out to start a business just to make money. Her goal was to revolutionize the way people think about health. Her business was a means to achieve that larger goal, which was deeply rooted in her personal values and beliefs. Once you have identified what it is that you truly want, the next step is to articulate your goals in a clear, specific, and measurable way. Specific goals are like stars guiding us clearly through the night sky. For instance, instead of setting a goal like, I want to be successful, specify what success looks like for you. Does it mean building a business worth a certain amount, writing a best-selling novel, or becoming the best in your field? The more specific your goal, the clearer your path towards achieving it. The importance of setting deadlines cannot be overstated. A goal without a deadline is just a dream. Deadlines create a sense of urgency and help us prioritize our actions. They force us to organize our resources and time so that we can move steadily towards our goals. In my experience, the most successful people are those who set deadlines and then work tirelessly towards meeting them, making adjustments along the way as necessary. It's also crucial to write down your goals. There's immense power in the act of writing. It makes your goals tangible and serves as a constant reminder of what you are working towards. Display your written goals where you can see them daily. Let them be the first thing you see in the morning and the last thing you check at night. This simple act keeps your goals at the forefront of your mind, constantly aligning your thoughts and actions with your objectives. But setting goals is just the beginning. The real magic happens when we take consistent action towards achieving them. This is where hard work and goal setting come together to create a symphony of success. Each step taken towards a goal, no matter how small, is a step in the right direction. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and it's the accumulation of these steps that leads to extraordinary achievements. It's also important to review and adjust your goals regularly. As we grow and evolve, so do our aspirations. What seemed like a worthy goal a year ago might not resonate with us today. Regularly reviewing our goals allows us to stay aligned with our true aspirations and makes the journey towards achieving them more relevant and fulfilling. Now, let me tell you about a principle I've always found fascinating. The Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20th Rule. It states that roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. Applied to goal setting, this principle suggests that a majority of our results come from a few key actions. Focusing on these key actions can significantly enhance our efficiency and effectiveness in achieving our goals. In practice, this means prioritizing tasks and focusing on those that will have the greatest impact on our goals. 
It's about working smarter, not just harder. This approach requires discipline and the ability to discern which actions will yield the greatest results. It's a skill that can be developed over time and it's invaluable in the pursuit of success. As you embark on your goal-setting journey, remember that the road will not always be smooth. There will be challenges and setbacks, but it's important to stay committed to your goals. Every setback is an opportunity to learn and grow. Every challenge is a chance to demonstrate your resolve and commitment to your dreams. As we delve into the essence of what truly drives success, we must discuss a quality that stands as a cornerstone in the architecture of achievement, the power of persistence. The unwavering commitment to never give up is the force that turns the impossible into the possible, dreams into realities. It's the steadfast resolve that navigates us through the stormy seas of challenges toward the shores of success. Let's consider the story of a young writer, Emily, who dreamed of publishing her novel. Day after day, she faced rejection letters, each one a sting to her aspirations. Yet she persisted. With each rejection, she honed her skills, refined her manuscript, and sent it out again. Her journey wasn't easy, filled with moments of doubt and the temptation to abandon her dream. But Emily understood that the path to achieving her goal was paved with persistence. Eventually, her perseverance paid off. Her novel was published not because she was the most talented writer, but because she refused to give up. This story of Emily isn't unique but echoes a universal truth. The journey towards any worthwhile goal is often littered with obstacles. These challenges test our resolve, our dedication, and our commitment. But it is in the face of these challenges that persistence becomes our greatest ally. Consider the bamboo tree, a symbol of resilience and strength in many cultures. When the bamboo seed is planted, it doesn't sprout immediately. In fact, for the first several years, there's no visible sign of growth despite proper care. But beneath the soil, something remarkable happens. The bamboo is developing a root system vast and deep enough to support the incredible growth it will undergo. And then, in the fifth year, the bamboo tree grows up to 80 feet tall in just six weeks. This growth is a result of the unseen persistence during those silent years. This metaphor of the bamboo tree applies to our endeavors. Often, the progress in our pursuits isn't immediately visible. The results of our hard work may seem to languish beneath the surface. But like the bamboo, we are growing, strengthening, and preparing for the moment of breakthrough. Persistence is about trusting this process, believing in the work we're doing even when the results aren't immediately evident. Now let's explore another aspect of persistence, adaptability. Persistence doesn't mean repeating the same actions blindly, expecting different results. It means having the flexibility to adapt, to learn from setbacks, and to approach challenges with new strategies. It's about having the grit to endure, but also the wisdom to evolve. Remember, every successful person has faced failure. They've all had moments when their goals seemed out of reach. What separates them from the rest is their response to these setbacks. Instead of giving up, they persisted. They learned from their failures, adapted their strategies, and continued their pursuit with renewed vigor. Persistence, therefore, is not just a matter of endurance. It's a dynamic process of growth, learning, and adaptation. It's about maintaining your vision and adjusting your path as needed. It's about being resilient in the face of adversity and flexible enough to navigate through it. As we consider persistence, it's important to recognize that our biggest battle often lies within. Doubt, fear, and uncertainty are persistent adversaries. They whisper in our ears, telling us to give up, that it's easier to settle for less. But here's where our inner strength is tested. Do we succumb to these doubts, or do we push through them? The answer lies in our mindset. Cultivating a mindset of persistence involves affirming your abilities and your vision. It's about reinforcing your belief in your goals and your capacity to achieve them. This mental fortitude becomes the fuel that powers our persistence. Let me share with you a phrase that I've often found inspiring. This too shall pass. It's a reminder that no obstacle is permanent, no setback is everlasting. Challenges are transient, but our resolve to overcome them must be steadfast. We've discussed the significance of clear goals and the undeniable power of persistence. Now let's turn our attention to an aspect that is foundational to actualizing these principles, developing a strong work ethic. This is about cultivating a mindset and a set of strategies that not only inspire us to work hard but also to work smart. Imagine you're planting a garden. You have the seeds, which are your goals, and persistence to water and tend to your plants. 
But without the right soil, the work ethic, those seeds may struggle to flourish. Developing a robust work ethic is about preparing that soil, ensuring that it's fertile and ready to support your growth. The first step in cultivating a strong work ethic is to understand its value. A solid work ethic is more than just working long hours or keeping busy. It's about purposeful and focused action. It's about choosing to invest your energy in tasks that align with your goals, tasks that are productive rather than merely busy work. It's the difference between treading water and swimming towards the shore. One effective strategy is to prioritize your tasks. Just as a gardener must know which plants need the most sunlight and water, you must discern which tasks will bring you closer to your goals. This is where the principle of prioritization comes in. Each day, identify the most critical tasks, your big rocks, and tackle them first. This ensures that your most valuable energy is spent on the most valuable tasks. Another key aspect of a strong work ethic is discipline. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. It's easy to be motivated when you're inspired, but discipline is what keeps you going when that initial spark fades. Cultivating discipline can start with small habits. It could be as simple as waking up at the same time each day or dedicating a specific time for focused work. Over time, these small acts of discipline accumulate and build a structure of productivity and efficiency. Now let's consider the mindset essential for a strong work ethic. This mindset is characterized by a few key attitudes. A commitment to continuous learning, a willingness to step out of your comfort zone, and resilience in the face of failure. Embrace the fact that there's always something new to learn. Adopt the perspective that challenges are opportunities to grow, and when faced with failure, see it as a lesson, not a setback. Another element of this mindset is the ability to stay focused and avoid distractions. In today's world, where distractions are constantly at our fingertips, the ability to concentrate on the task at hand has become a superpower. Cultivate this ability by creating an environment conducive to focus. It could be as simple as tidying your workspace, turning off notifications during work hours, or setting specific times for checking emails. Moreover, developing a strong work ethic isn't just about personal discipline. It's also about being aware of the impact of your work on others. This means understanding the broader context of your actions and how they contribute to the bigger picture. It's about recognizing that your work ethic can inspire those around you, creating a ripple effect of productivity and positivity. Incorporating these strategies into your daily life isn't an overnight process. It requires commitment and practice. It's about making a conscious decision every day to work towards your goals with intention and focus. It's about making the choice to do what's necessary, not just what's easy or comfortable. Let's also talk about the role of balance in developing a work ethic. While it's crucial to work hard, it's equally important to ensure that you're taking care of your physical and mental well-being. Burnout is a real risk, and it can derail your efforts towards your goals. Balance your hard work with periods of rest and activities that rejuvenate you. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Developing a strong work ethic is a journey. It's a process of building and strengthening habits, attitudes, and skills that align with your goals. It's about making a commitment to yourself to pursue your goals with dedication and focus. It's like being the gardener who diligently tends to their garden. Ensuring that the conditions are just right for their seeds, their goals, to grow and flourish. The critical aspect we must address is the inevitable presence of obstacles. It's not a matter of if they will appear, but rather when and how we choose to respond to them. The art of turning barriers into stepping stones is a skill that separates those who achieve their goals from those who merely dream about them. Picture a mountain climber preparing to ascend a daunting peak. They know the climb will be challenging. They anticipate the steep pass, the unpredictable weather, and the potential for setback. Yet, they proceed equipped with the knowledge, tools, and, most importantly, the mindset to overcome these hurdles. This is the same approach we need to adopt in our lives. We must expect obstacles, prepare for them, and develop the mindset to use them to our advantage. Let's consider a common obstacle, fear. This fear can paralyze us, holding us back from taking the necessary steps towards our goals. To overcome this fear, we must first acknowledge it, understand its roots, and then reframe it. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of the success journey. Every failure brings with it valuable lessons and insights that can propel us forward if we choose to learn from them. 
Another frequent barrier is the resistance to change. Change is uncomfortable, it's uncertain and it pushes us out of our comfort zones. However, growth and comfort do not coexist. Embracing change, therefore, becomes a stepping stone. It's about adopting a growth mindset where change is seen as an opportunity for development and advancement. Now let's talk about turning obstacles into opportunities. This requires a shift in perspective. Instead of viewing obstacles as roadblocks, view them as challenges to be solved, puzzles to be deciphered. This shift in mindset transforms the energy surrounding the obstacle. It becomes a source of motivation, a call to action to engage our creativity, resourcefulness, and determination. Consider the story of a small business owner faced with the obstacle of a declining market. Instead of giving up, they saw this as an opportunity to pivot their business model, to innovate, and to explore new markets. This obstacle became a catalyst for growth and expansion, leading to new avenues of success that would have remained unexplored otherwise. Another strategy to overcome obstacles is to break them down into smaller, more manageable parts. Often, obstacles seem insurmountable because we view them in their entirety. By breaking them down, we can create a step-by-step -step plan to tackle each part. This approach not only makes the obstacle more manageable but also provides us with small wins along the way, boosting our confidence and momentum. In addition to breaking down obstacles, building a support system is crucial. Surrounding ourselves with mentors, peers, and a supportive community provides us with different perspectives, advice, and encouragement. These relationships can be invaluable in helping us navigate through challenging times. It's also essential to maintain a positive attitude in the face of obstacles. This doesn't mean ignoring the difficulties or pretending they don't exist. It means maintaining a hopeful and optimistic outlook, believing in our ability to overcome the challenges, and being open to the lessons they bring. Persistence plays a key role here. When faced with obstacles, the temptation to give up may arise. However, persisting through these challenges, staying committed to our goals, and continuously pushing forward is what leads to breakthroughs. Remember, the most significant achievements often come after the greatest challenges. Lastly, let's talk about resilience. The ability to bounce back from setbacks and obstacles. Building resilience involves taking care of our physical and mental health, learning from past experiences, and maintaining a balanced perspective on life's ups and downs. It's about developing the inner strength to withstand and emerge stronger from the trials we face. We've tackled the power of setting clear goals, the indomitable force of persistence, and transforming obstacles into opportunities. Now let's delve into a crucial aspect that acts as the backbone of these elements, the role of discipline in hard work. Imagine a great orchestra. Each musician is skilled, but it's their collective discipline that creates harmony. Without discipline, you have mere noise, but with it, you have a symphony. Similarly, in the pursuit of our goals, discipline is what harmonizes our skills, efforts, and plans into a coherent path to success. Discipline, in its essence, is the ability to do what needs to be done even when you don't feel like doing it. It's easy to work hard when you're inspired or motivated, but what about those days when you're not? That's where discipline steps in. It's the inner strength that keeps you going regardless of the fluctuating tides of motivation. Think of discipline as a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. Start with small, manageable commitments. It could be as simple as waking up at a specific time each day, dedicating a set number of hours to your work, or committing to a regular exercise routine. Over time, these small acts of discipline build the foundation for more significant, more challenging commitments, leading to greater achievements. Consider the story of Thomas, an aspiring entrepreneur. When he started his journey, he was brimming with excitement and ideas. However, he soon realized that turning these ideas into reality required consistent, disciplined effort. It was discipline that got him up at dawn to work on his business plan, to network, to learn new skills, and to persist even when things didn't seem to be going his way. Thomas's journey was not unique, but his disciplined approach set him apart. Discipline also means prioritizing your time effectively. In a world filled with distractions, the disciplined mind focuses on tasks that align with one's goals. It's about saying no to unnecessary activities and yes to actions that move. You closer to your aspirations collective focus is not about deprivation. It's about choosing to invest your time where it counts. Another aspect of discipline is consistency. 
It's not the grand gestures, but the small daily actions that lead to success. Think of it as water carving its way through rock. It's not the force, but the constant drip that eventually creates a path. Similarly, your consistent efforts driven by discipline are your path to success. Discipline also requires setting and adhering to your own standards. It's about holding yourself accountable when you set a standard for your work and your life. Discipline ensures you meet it not out of obligation to others but out of respect for your own commitments and values. Moreover, discipline is closely linked with self-awareness. It requires knowing your strengths and weaknesses, your tendencies to procrastinate, and your peaks and troughs of productivity. This awareness allows you to structure your efforts and environment in a way that maximizes your efficiency and effectiveness. It's also important to mention the role of self-compassion in discipline. Being disciplined does not mean being harsh or unforgiving to yourself. It's about understanding that the path to success is a journey with ups and downs. There will be times when you falter. Self-compassion allows you to acknowledge these moments without judgment, learn from them, and continue moving forward. Discipline, in its truest form, is a blend of commitment, focus, consistency, and self-awareness. It's about making a series of choices that align with your goals and values. And remember, discipline is not innate, it's developed. It's a skill you can cultivate starting right now with the choices you make every day. Understanding the importance of discipline and hard work. Let's now shift our focus to a topic that is often seen in a negative light yet is an integral part of our growth and success. Learning from failures. The concept of failure is frequently associated with defeat and loss. However, I invite you to join me in redefining failure not as an end but as a crucial step in the learning process, a stepping stone to success. Consider for a moment the process of learning to ride a bike. It's a journey filled with falls and stumbles, but with each fall, there's a lesson to be learned about balance, speed, and control. Each tumble teaches resilience and determination. Eventually, these lessons lead to the joy of effortlessly riding. Just like learning to ride a bike, each failure in our lives teaches us invaluable lessons that guide us toward our goals. Now let's explore the role of perspective in dealing with failures. The way we view failure determines how we respond to it. If we see failure as a final verdict on our abilities, it becomes a roadblock. But if we view it as a learning opportunity, it transforms into a tool for growth. Embracing this perspective requires a shift in mindset where failures are seen as feedback providing insights and directing our future efforts. There's a powerful lesson in the stories of great inventors, artists, and leaders who faced numerous failures before achieving remarkable success. Take, for example, the story of an inventor who faced hundreds of unsuccessful attempts before perfecting his creation. With each attempt, instead of getting discouraged, he gained valuable insights that eventually led to his breakthrough. His perseverance and willingness to learn from each failure were key to his eventual success. Failure also teaches resilience. The ability to bounce back after setbacks is crucial in our journey. This resilience is born from the understanding that failure is not a reflection of our work but a natural part of the learning process. It's about maintaining a steadfast commitment to our goals despite the hurdles we encounter along the way. Another essential aspect of learning from failure is the practice of reflection. After experiencing a setback, take the time to analyze what happened, what worked, what didn't, and what could be done differently next time. This reflection turns the experience of failure into a valuable lesson. It's about extracting wisdom from our missteps and using it to refine our strategies and actions. It's also important to cultivate an environment where failure is seen as a part of the journey, not something to be ashamed of. This involves surrounding ourselves with supportive individuals who encourage learning from setbacks. It's about creating a culture, whether in our personal lives or professional environments, where taking calculated risks is encouraged and failures are viewed as opportunities for growth. Let's not forget the role of humility in learning from failures. Humility allows us to accept our mistakes, to understand that we don't have all the answers, and to be open to new ideas and approaches. It's about being a lifelong learner, always curious, always willing to grow. Failure also teaches us about our strengths and limitations. It helps us understand where our talents lie and where we need to improve or seek help from others. This self-awareness is critical for personal and professional growth. It guides us in making informed decisions about where to focus our efforts and when to seek collaboration or mentorship. As we reflect upon the valuable lessons learned from our failures and embrace the discipline needed for hard work, 
let's turn our attention to a concept that is essential in our quest for success. The journey towards excellence. This journey is not a destination to be reached but a continuous process of growth, learning, and improvement. Picture a master craftsman meticulously shaping and polishing a piece of fine wood. With every stroke, the wood's true beauty begins to emerge. This is a perfect metaphor for our journey towards excellence. It's a process that involves continually refining our skills, honing our talents, and improving ourselves in every aspect of our lives. Excellence is about setting high standards for ourselves and then striving to exceed them. It's about pushing beyond what we thought was possible and discovering new heights of performance and achievement. One of the key aspects of this journey is a commitment to lifelong learning. The world is constantly evolving, and to pursue excellence, we must evolve with it. This means staying curious, seeking new knowledge, and being open to new experiences and ideas. It's about embracing change not as a threat but as an opportunity to grow. Another critical element in the journey towards excellence is the pursuit of mastery. Mastery is achieved through focus and consistent effort over time. It's about dedicating yourself to your craft, whether it's art, science, business, or any other field. It's not just about doing something well, it's about doing it better than it has ever been done before. This pursuit of excellence also requires resilience. There will be setbacks and challenges along the way, but these are not signs of failure. Instead, they are opportunities to learn, adapt, and emerge stronger. Resilience is what allows us to maintain our pursuit of excellence even in the face of adversity. In addition, the journey towards excellence involves cultivating a mindset of continuous improvement. It's about constantly asking ourselves, how can I do this better? It's a mindset that doesn't settle for good enough but seeks to make good even better. This quest for continuous improvement is what drives innovation and progress. Let's also consider the importance of passion in our journey towards excellence. Passion is the fuel that keeps us going when the journey gets tough. It's the inner fire that ignites our creativity and drives our ambition. When we are passionate about what we do, we bring a level of energy and enthusiasm that can propel us to new heights of excellence. Furthermore, the journey towards excellence is not a solitary one. It involves learning from others, mentors, peers, and even competitors. It's about being open to feedback and using it as a tool for growth. Collaborating with others, sharing ideas, and learning from their experiences can significantly enhance our own journey towards excellence. As we embark on this journey, it's important to remember that excellence is not about perfection. Perfection is an elusive and often unattainable goal. Excellence, on the other hand, is about doing the best we can with what we have. It's about continuous improvement, not about reaching a state of flawlessness. As we reach the culmination of our discourse, having journeyed through the essential components of hard work, discipline, learning from failures, and the continuous pursuit of excellence, it's fitting to reflect on the ultimate reward of hard work. This reward transcends tangible outcomes. It embodies a deeper, more fulfilling sense of achievement and personal fulfillment. The true reward of hard work is not just in the goals achieved or the successes celebrated. It lies in the person you become through this relentless pursuit. Every challenge faced, every obstacle overcome, and every setback turned into a comeback shapes you into a stronger, more resilient, and more capable individual. This transformation, this evolution into your best self, is perhaps the greatest reward hard work offers. Consider the immense satisfaction that comes from looking back at a journey fraught with challenges, knowing that you navigated it with perseverance and tenacity. There's a profound sense of accomplishment in realizing how far you've come, not just in terms of your goals, but in your personal growth. This reflection often brings a deeper level of joy and contentment than any external accolade. Moreover, the reward of hard work extends to the impact you have on others. Through your journey, you inspire those around you. Your story becomes a beacon of hope and encouragement for others to pursue their dreams, face their fears, and overcome their challenges. The ripple effect of your hard work and dedication can change lives, influence destinies, and shape futures. Another significant aspect of the reward of hard work is the development of a legacy. This legacy is not necessarily about wealth or fame. It's about the values you embody and the example you set. It's about leaving behind a legacy of commitment, integrity, and resilience. It's about being remembered not just for what you achieved, but for how you achieved it and the difference you made in the lives of others. Hard work also brings the reward of self-mastery. 
Through the discipline and effort exerted in your endeavors, you gain a deeper understanding of yourself. You discover your strengths and confront your weaknesses. You learn the art of self-control, the power of focus, and the beauty of unwavering determination. This self-mastery is a key ingredient in achieving lasting happiness and fulfillment. As we embrace the path of hard work, let us do so with the understanding that the true reward lies beyond the visible successes. It resides in the journey itself, in the lessons learned, the character built, and the lives touched. Let us move forward with the knowledge that our efforts, our resilience, and our dedication will not only lead us to our desired destinations but will also enrich our lives in ways we never imagined. The reward of hard work is a life well lived, a legacy of excellence, and the profound satisfaction of knowing that we gave our best to become the best version of ourselves. Let this be our motivation, our driving force, as we continue to strive, grow, and achieve.